Hello everybody, this is Gopher Bashi here, and I'm here to talk to you today about how to play Cyber Nations. Uh, now, Cyber Nations is an online uh, nation simulation game where you can build your own nation, set its policies, and even go to war against other nations. Um, we're not going to go through everything today, we'll try and keep it short, around 5 minutes or so, but I'll put uh, some links in the description below to other resources you can go to if you're looking for more information. Uh, so, where we're going to start off is under the main menu here, we're going to go to View My Nation. And this basically goes over everything you have in your nation. It basically summarizes everything for you. Uh, now, you can't make any changes to anything here, uh, but this shows you the results of all the other decisions and actions you've made. Uh, so, it scrolls down quite a bit here. Uh, my nation's been around for a while, so, um, so it has a bit more stuff here than you'll have, but all in general, all the same uh, categories are the same there. Um, so what we're going to start off talking about first is this number right here, infrastructure. Oh, before I forget, these little blue links here, if you're looking for more information about any of those, click on that. It'll bring you to a page with a lot more information about that, but we're not going to kind of keep it a little bit basic here today. All right. Uh, infrastructure uh, in terms of income is by far the most important um, figure you have in your nation. Uh, infrastructure basically represents how built up your nation is. And the more built up it is, the more people that can live in your nation, and the more income you'll get. Uh, so if we go to under nation purchases, click on, whoa, screen moved on me there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Infrastructure, under nation purchases. Um, this is where you buy infrastructure from. Uh, so you can either buy, if you want to buy, let's say, 100 levels of infrastructure, you could put it in there. Or if you want to put a million dollars towards infrastructure, you can put that uh, over here and then go to perform transaction. And that'll be added to your nation automatically. There's no waiting period. It doesn't take any time to build. And a population increase will show right away. That doesn't take time to show up either. All instantaneous there. Um, so yeah, the more people you have in your nation, the more money you'll get. Um, but the other thing improvements or are, are infrastructure is good for is improvements. Uh, right under infrastructure in the nation purchases screen. And for every thousand population you get, uh, you can add one extra improvement. And these are things that let you um, improve or add to what your nation is capable of. And the first one for young nations is right down here, the harbor, um, for $200,000. And this opens an extra trade slot. And let me tell you why that's important. If we go back to the View My Nation screen, uh, right down here, you see connected resources. And I have trade agreements with other nations. Um, by default, you can have four. And uh, with the harbor, you get up to five. And as I'm hovering over the wheat here, you can see wheat, for example, increases my citizens by 8%. And uh, every resource along here will have its own special benefit. Um, some are better, better than others, depending on what you're looking for. Um, but you can trade your resources to other nations, and you'll get theirs in return. Now, you don't lose access to these. You're not giving them up to anyone else. Uh, but you're sharing them between the two of you, so you both see a benefit from that. Um, and these can go a long way to helping out your income and other parts of your nation. That's why the first improvement almost everyone will suggest is the harbor there to help you out get a fifth one of these. Um, the other thing, oh, let me show you quickly uh, how we do that. I'm just going to go to the search aid screen for a second here. We'll click on this nation um, right at the top. So this is someone else's nation right here. Uh, so this is how their screen looks to me. Not as much information. Uh, but right along the top here, you see message, declare war, trade, aid, spy, make donation. Um, so if I clicked on trade here, this is how I would send this nation trade offer. And if you're looking on sending the aid as well, that's how you do that. Um, the other thing that's important is technology. So if we go back to nation purchases and go to the technology screen, um, technology is basically an indicator of how technologically advanced your nation is. And where this is really important is um, if you're fighting wars. Now, larger nations, because they have a lot more technology, it costs a lot more for them to buy. The more you have, the more it costs to create more. So what will happen a lot of the time is something called a tech deal, um, where no larger nations or tech buyers such as myself um, will send money to smaller nations or tech sellers uh, in exchange for technology. So I'll send you some amount of money, and you'll go back to my screen um, where it said aid at the top, and you'll send some technology back to me. Um, and Newer nations get a lot of income from that, and we get technology for uh, cheaper than we'd otherwise get. So that's what a tech deal is, and that's how you do it. Um, the other thing here, so if we go back to View My Nation, a lot of the information there that you can change is through the uh, Edit My Nation screen, kind of by the bottom of the main menu. 
And here you can uh, set an alliance, um, ultra military tactics, uh, race, religion, uh, your own resources, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's where you alter some of the information that you can't get to from other ways. Uh, now, speaking of alliances, you'll probably get a lot of uh, recruiting messages in your uh, View My Messages section here. Um, alliances are um, good for defending you from other nations. Um, so you'll join an alliance, and uh, if anyone attacks you, they'll be able to respond to that. And it helps defend you a little bit better in exchange for you're part of the alliance. You have to be a team player in that point of view. Um, military stuff we're not really going to get into today. If you need to buy military, it's down here under the Purchase Military tab. Um, but maybe we'll get into that in a future video later on if we want to talk about military stuff. But here's the basis of the economics and how to run your nation. And that's going to be it for today. Um, take care, and we'll see you next time.